Hi, I'm Tony Althaus, and this is a McDonald Minute. Today we're going to talk about assembling valves into piping systems. Now when you're doing so, there's five guidelines that you should always consider when you're doing that. The first one would be is to always use a quality pipe thread seal. The reason for that is the threads in the valve and on the riser are general purpose pipe threads, so you need a good quality pipe thread sealant. The second guideline to consider is you should never use Teflon tape on the threads. The pipe thread sealant is a better option, and the reason for that is because Teflon tape will lessen the feel of the torque that's actually being applied to the threaded joint. That's not desirable and can result in damaging the valve. The third consideration, or the third guideline, is you should never tighten across the valve. And what I mean by that is you never want to wrench on this hex, you wouldn't wrench on this hex, you always want to wrench at the hex that's directly adjacent to the threaded joint. That way you're not tightening across the valve body, which can damage the valve. Now the fourth thing you should consider is always using a flat jawed wrench, like this crescent wrench. The reason for that is the crescent wrench has a, has a flat jaw, there's no teeth. And that's important because you may have a coating on the valve, a zinc coating or paint coating. A crescent wrench will not damage that coating. So a flat jawed wrench is always preferable to a pipe wrench that has teeth. Now the fifth guideline and probably the most important is torque. The tendency when assembling fittings, valves in a, in a piping system is to get them as tight as possible. And that's fine because you don't want to gas, you don't want to leak. But at the same time, you can damage the components when you're doing that. So be careful of your torque. And the main thing that contributes to that is orientation. Um, imagine you've got, you want the valve in this position when you're finished. But at, at some point where you think you've got it tight, but it's facing this direction, you've got to circle all the way around another full turn to get back to this orientation here. And when you do that, that's when the potential for seriously over-torquing the valve can occur and you can damage the valve. These values are to give you a gas tight seal. For a three quarter inch valve, it'd be 50 foot pounds. For a one inch valve, 60 foot pounds. Inch and a quarter valve, 70 foot pounds. And for a two inch valve, 125 foot pounds. So to summarize, we've got five points. The first one is to use a good uh, pipe thread sealant. Second one is never use Teflon tape. The third one is never tighten across the valve. Number four, you should use a flat jawed wrench when you can. And number five, watch your torque. I'm Tony Althaus and this has been a McDonald Minute. Still have questions? Please give us a call at 1-800-AY-CARES. Stay connected with us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.